it looked very grave to me, and I was just afraid for their life. But I knew in my heart that Jesse could save them. At the end of the day, Lopez says the major payoff is knowing that his neighbors Maria Ebenos and her little girl are okay. The cool thing about it was the next day, she was out in the front yard with a big smile on her face and just playing. And, you know, and uh, her mom was with her. And, you know, it, it, it just, they had a second chance of life. Orland Police Chief Paula Carr says she plans to nominate Lopez for the American Red Cross Real Hero Award and will formally recognize him at a future city council meeting. For Action News, I'm Matt Vaughn. Thank you for that, Matt. A former Las Plumas High School ROTC instructor involved in a high-profile sex scandal will be sentenced next month for violating his probation. Glenn Bakey admitted in court that he violated his probation by continuing to see a former student with whom he'd had sexual relations in 2009. She was 16 at the time. Blakey pleaded no contest two years ago. He received three years probation and a year in county jail, but yesterday he admitted seeing the young woman in April. He also admitted to resisting a police officer and providing false information. Blakey is expected to be sentenced June 7th. A Shasta County man is headed to trial for allegedly fondling his own daughter. Jacob Berlinghoff made public pleas for the safe return of his 16-year-old daughter when she disappeared with his brother last November. The teenager and her 44-year-old uncle were located in December in the Bay Area.